Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, back in the action. Wildfire Promotions, the first ever show, and this is the first boxing bout of the evening. A 62 kilo bout between Killer Kazim, Javed versus Paris. Javed in the red, Shake in the blue. Orthodox versus Southpaw, is an interesting start. Big right hand left, nearly by the killer. Big knockdown early. Look at him, he's raring to go. Now we are on boxing rules now, so the referee will give a standing eight count for a knockdown. There's no any more than two knockdowns in a round. Fight's over. Look at the killer, smells blood and he's in there. I must say it looks big out the two fighters, but that range is still there with the southpaw. Big long left there, a shake. Despite the early knockdown, there's no quitting him. Look at that, fantastic. I don't think they need to hire a cage for these two. They could have let them fight in a phone box because they're up for it. It's interesting to see that Orthodox Southpaw, normally a bit slower, a bit more rangy, a bit more feeling out, but these guys have come to fight. Yeah, very interesting. Like you say, it's usually time cut the angle, find the outside position, but there's been no feeling out process in this fight. It's just been all guns blazing from the bell. A right pass through the guard. Lovely head movement, keeping him safe. I can't help but think that's part of the killer's game plan. Coming in here. Crowd, big hooks. Probably trying to catch his man early. A bit of confusion there. That's it. I'd like to see Shake pop that jab out. Yeah. He's got the range. Control he can that land range. it. He's looking for it. He needs to keep it on the outside. Those crowd crowding hooks are just causing a lot of problems. He's him circle out, get the jabs going. We really control the center again. If you control that center, you've got a lot more room to play with. With these cage, much like the ropes. I gotta say we saw a really nice slip there from Killer on that left hand. Look incredibly confident. Both have really fluid movement. Yeah. 
Shake. Now I've got to say, it, brilliant round. I've got to say though, like Shake needs to be careful switching stance like that without throwing a punch. You know, switching naked without saying it all leaves you exposed. Those huge hooks that killer's throwing, and he's not like he's holding back anything either. He's really putting power into those shots. After a fiery start, but it's all to play for still. First round in, a lot of danger, a lot of damage, but both men still standing. You're in the corner, what would you be saying? More of the same from Killer, but we tell him to keep his distance a little bit. He is smothering his work. But if from the corner, shake him, tell him to use that jab and step off. Step off. He's got his right foot, step off to your right. Line that left up, but get the angle. He seems to be landing a shot, but not moving off. And that's giving the Killer an opportunity to come in with those swarming hooks. Her killer and it lands on the shot again. Both men in the centre. <laughs> Shakes now the aggressor himself. Moving forward, throwing his feints out. I want to see a few uppercuts though. He's crowding that space. The hooks aren't seem to be landing. Maybe change the angle. Looks to me like Killer might be slowing down a little bit as well. Mm. He's giving Shake an opportunity to line that rear straight up again. Oh, right on the money. And Killer being the bigger of the two, you got to think that muscle's going to weigh on him. I like that from Shake as well. He's starting these um, breaks from a bit further away, keeping that range, making sure they have to re-engage on his terms. Yeah, he's certainly looking more confident this round, and it's paying dividends. He's got a knockdown. He's managed to land that left quite a few times. He's on the finding the money, even this fight out. Fantastic round. So I think it's if you're scoring this fight, it's going to be level pegged because you've got a knockdown from Killer in round one. You've got a knockdown from Shake in round two. It's everything to play for going into this third and final round. And you got to think what Killer's going to do in this next round. Yeah, what's a little bit more interesting as well, Dan, is if you look in the corner of Killer over there, he's been given instruction in the last, between rounds of the last one, like leaning into the second, he was just sort of stood there, he weren't really taking much instruction, just waiting for the break to end. Now there looks a sense of urgency in his corner. It's like a reversal. What we're seeing here is a lot of calm in Shay's corner. And the body language as well seems very confident. Yeah, he looks a lot more confident. His coach is giving him cues to cut that angle, to find the straight. The correct, brilliant, the correct advice at this time because we've seen that left hand landing. So we can really start pumping that jab out as well because the feints are all well interesting, but unless they land, they're not doing too much. I like to see him control the centre a lot more to make sure he can actually control the range opposed to trying to defend and just throw those feints in the way. But really just plant his feet, throw a few solid shots and just get off that line, just a step or two, not too crazy. Here we are, heading to our third and final round. Our first boxing bout. 
Now that's that home for that left hand again. Now temptation for Javid is to go in for the kill. Way too aggressive, really barging. Can he find composure? Can he land what he needs to land? He wants to be careful exiting like that. This kill is still throwing 100% power in those shots. I've got to say, brilliant chin on both men. Both have shown a tremendous heart in this fight. Both landed and taken shots. Both still fighting to the end. That jab just lands on the inside. I see this round's a lot more methodical than the other two. I think both men know that everything's to play for. So Neither over committing. But yeah, they're really trying to set the shots up. And even there, when the hooks. So you kill a throw that hook, miss, just step slightly out. Didn't need to really over swing, over commit, but that one lands just then. Shots are landing now for Killer. Looks like they're finding their home here. I like to that clinch a lot more from Shake. That's the thing, when you get crowded with that range, you can't throw a lot with power. You either can move or you clinch up and get re-engaged. Yeah, you have to be careful not to smother your work when you're in there. Give yourself room to breathe. Give your shots room to express themselves. Lovely right straight. And again. I feel Shake is waiting for home there. He staggers his man. Oh. I feel Shake's waiting for that counter shot. But you can see his man's gassed. Put the pressure on. I think Shake's staying on that left hand again. There we go. Both men still in this fight. I think one thing to consider as well, the judges are probably looking at his body language. When Killer gets hit, he stands still, but because, because of Shake's big lateral movements, he's been knocked all over the cage, and that could be a deciding factor in this third and final round. Killer had a knockdown in the first, Shake had a knockdown in the second. Third round, back and forth. It's a hard one to score. Yeah, it could go either way at this point. I don't think we have a clear and decisive winner. It, it, again, I think it might come down to body language and looking at who's being impacted more by the shots. Both both men were landing. It's who's doing the most the most damage. And if it's not visible on the faces and the body, it can sometimes come down to who's being pushed the most, who's being dominated around the ring. Exactly that. Great fight for both these gentlemen. Yeah, I think it's the most neck and neck fight we've had tonight. And another barn burner, you know, three rounds, just pure action. Just what we like to see. I think as well, like Shake can go home with his head held high. It's a brilliant performance. He really picked it up in that second and third round. Really showed a lot of heart and courage as well. He'll be back for sure. Whoever's doing this matchmaking deserves a race. Some great bouts tonight.